Hi, my name is Shadeen and I'm a student assistant at Global Study Program. I'm going to show you how to use Schedule Builder today. Go ahead and click the link in the description to get to sysweb.ucdavis.edu. So now that you're on sysweb, go ahead and click Log into Schedule Builder. Enter in your information and then select the quarter that you're searching for classes for. In this case, I'm going to select Fall Quarter 2018. Make sure to press Quarter and not Semester. Once you're here, you're going to see a red registration hold on your account. It might look something like this box here. Don't panic. It's completely normal. It's only because you're not allowed to register for your classes yourself. We will do it for you. In order to look for classes, go ahead and click Add Search Courses. And here you can look for classes by the course, the CRN, the title, or the subject down here. In this case, I'm just going to press ECS which is Engineering Computer Science. If you select Show Advanced Options, you can also tailor your search to whatever you're looking for. I'm just going to press Search. So a list of courses have popped up, and we're going to look at ECS 32A. Right here is a CRN, which is a, which is a unique five-digit number for your class. Different sections of the same course will have different CRNs. Be careful to list the correct CRN for the course sections that fit with your schedule. For example, ECS 32A, Section AL1, AL2, AL3 all have different CRNs. Over here is the course abbreviation, ECS, the course number, and the course section. As you can see, they offer ECS 32A01. AO2, AO3, but they also have ECS 32A, B01, B02, and B03. Please note that ECS 32 Section A all have the same lecture time and the same professor, in this case TBA, but they have different discussion times. Right here. Is different from here. On the other hand, ECS 32 section B have different lecture times and professors from section A. Next is the open and wait list. On the left here you can see this is the number of open seats and this is the number of waitlist seats. In this case here we have five open seats and zero students on the waitlist. Only list courses on your course preference form if the class you want has at least three open seats and zero students on the waitlist. If a course has only one section, such as ECS 132A right here, you can list the course if it has at least three open seats. On the other hand, if the course has multiple sections, such as ECS 1, such as ECS 32A, AO1, AO2, AO3, you can list the course if it has at least three open seats total. Over here is the number of units. The professor teaching the class, in this case, is TBA to be announced. And the time and location of the course. And this is the location. Now, if you click Show Details, you can see any course alerts and notes, the description of the course, prerequisites, in this case there are none, and the final exam date. Finally, click Save so that you can see the course on your list. Right here is the number of courses that you have on your list. Make sure that none of your courses overlap. You can also view the courses another way by clicking View, Calendar View, and looking at the course here. Again, make sure that none of them overlap. So I highly recommend finding classes outside of your major for a well-rounded schedule. Take classes you wouldn't normally take. This is a time to explore your other interests. Some of my favorite classes at UC Davis have been from courses outside my major. And if you have any more questions about how to use Schedule Builder, feel free to read over the handouts, watch this video again, or contact the staff at the Global Study Program.